The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out today with the gold market. I'm going to bring the gold market up on the hourly chart up into this area. If you remember, uh, you know, we had the big ABC. Let's double check to make sure that this is coming through at uh, TFNN and everybody can see it clearly. So give me a second and I will ask the folks at TFNN if everything is good. And it looks like it is, so we can continue on here. There's where we were. We're going to start out, go back to the weekly chart. I wanted to remind you of something here. There's the weekly. There was the ABCD pattern right there, 1828. The low was 1824. We had the big rally up here, and I mentioned to the folks that we were reaching very close to a 50% retracement of this whole move in here. But what we wanted to be watching for, just like over in here, we wanted to watch for a 382 retracement. Now, remember, folks, this market moved 110 points in two days. I mean, this is, a, well, it shows eight days here. Well, it's actually four days because of last week. But there's where we are. But let's just go back to that hourly chart because this is what we thought we would be looking for. We wanted to say we had the low. There's where the high was Friday up here at 1945. You see, that was the 50% retracement of that bigger move back here. And I said, watch for a 3H retracement, that should be pretty good support for the for the for the gold. So all we're going to do now is to re re remove all of this, and uh, you're going to see. Uh, if you don't believe these things, you're going to have to pay attention eventually because you see them all the time. There it was, folks, right there at 1921 was your 3H retracement of that move. From there, we rallied all the way up to uh, 1938 uh, rallied eighteen hundred dollars and that's just about one half harmonic number in the gold just slightly more and then we backed off we've done very little but the fact that it held that number is really uh, very very impressive well let, let's look at something out I, I want to the reason why I'm telling you this folks because that 382 is such a powerful number and if you really want to find support and resistance uh, you know, without looking at you know, sophisticated uh, oscillators and things like that. Take a look at some of these others. Now, here is the here is the natural gas that we were trying to be short today. You remember we have this big ABCD pattern up in here. Here's where we were uh, on Friday. There's Friday the 13th. We were making that 78% level. Uh, this is when we uh, started to break down on Friday. You'll notice they were breaking down hard. And if you uh, just took that little low here, now remember, this is a three-hour rally, folks. So that's a substantial rally. This one here was four-hour, four-hour rally. This is a three-hour rally. So you just go to your previous high, which is right back here. And you move it down to the bottom here, and you see it misses the 382 by uh, ten. Uh, that's that's a hundred dollars. The, the the number is 332. This high is uh, 331.50. It misses it by less than $100. Then you see another 382 pattern right here. And then you have one right here. Look at this. You see this beautiful little A, B, C, D pattern right here? This was today. And if you looked at it real closely, you'll see from your high that you made back, back here on Treskai Decaphobia, fear the number 13. And there did it, where did it go to, folks? Right to the old 382. Yeah, I'm going to have to draw it in another way because this thing is too sensitive. But you'll see that it went almost exactly to that 382, but it was a perfect A, B, C, D pattern coming in here. Here again, it misses it by $1. There's the gap that we had. We went into that gap, took the high of the day out, and then it's uh, you know moving down, uh, moving down a little bit uh, lower in here. So that's what we're watching here as we're as we're looking at some of these things. Hold on one second, folks. I have to uh, I have to turn off the, the beepers in here because they're going to be uh, driving me crazy if I don't turn it off. So there's we're off. Okay, so we're okay. All right. Now that's what I'm watching here. 
But all right, now let's, that's the gold. Let me get it out to where we were with the uh, natural gas. Here it is. The, the reason why I'm showing you this natural gas, this is just the hourly. Now, let's. what we're going to do now is we're just going to go and take this and stretch it out and go way back here. Okay, we're going to go way back, get rid of all of this. Okay, we're going to go back, way back to the low, way back here. This was back on August the 24th. So all we're going to do is we're going to go up from the low up to the high. And look at today's low, folks. The today's low was within $1. It was looking at 106.80. The low was 105.60. We've rallied $600 from there. But that's a pretty good move. Now, what I try to do, you know, you're not going to get all of these. But what you want to do is when you have a new low right here, Watch to see what this one could be. You can see this one is a 61% retracement. That leads nothing more than your ABCD. There's your AB leg. There's your CD leg right up in here. So we know that, don't we? So if you take that last low from this low to this high, where does it take you to? Get it right on the money, right at the exact 382, okay? Now, what does that mean? That means that that's a pretty substantial move and it takes off. I haven't even measured this little one right here. It probably is a 382, just looking at it. Let's just do it for kicks and giggles. Here it is right here. There's your low. Here comes your high. And there's your 382 right there again. But let's get back to where we're going to do some measuring now. Because if this is what we're looking at, this is why we were bearish the, the uh the uh, natural gas is because we have this 382 that gives us a big ABCD from down at this level. So all you want to do is you want to measure your ABCD down from the low up to the high. Okay, now you can see the 1.618 expansion is right here at 336. We went above that by about eight or nine dollars, which is not unusual. Well, then you had the lower tops in here, and that led down to where we are right now. So what do we do now with the natural gas? Okay, uh, first of all, one of the things we want to be looking at here. Hold on one second. I want to get this moved over just a little bit right here, and we'll be able to see it right here. We want to watch for the first 382 retracement off of the high because this may be a major high. This will be an indication that, yes, this could be the high that you want to get short. So you go back to this high right here. You come down to your low right there. Okay, so your 382 is going to come into this gap at 321. It might hit it today. If it does, I'll look to be short because that's the area where you want to be getting short. You had a little bit of a rally here. It's only been about, uh, let me see, it's rallied about, well, it's rallied $1,000. So it could rally another 600 bucks into this area here. So that's a key level to watch. So all I'll do is I'll come over here and I will mark this with a price objective to tell me that's where I want to start looking at it. So that's what, uh, that's what we're looking at uh, right here as we're unfolding these uh, things here so far today okay now let's move over here and uh, i want to get one other thing done and i want to do another one because we need to be oh how much i've got to check the time frame here to see where we are with time we got to take a break 877-927-6648 billy ray valentine capricorn Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN Education investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at the crude oil, folks. Uh, this is the four-hour chart on the crude oil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down into segments because this is a Gartley pattern that we have forming here. You can see the high we made up here. The high was supposed to be uh, 94, 91 based on that big ABCD. The high was at uh, 9503, so that missed it by 12 points. So we certainly count count that as a, a correct one. It, that's a little joke, folks. Anyway, that's what we're watching. But there's your high right down in there. There's your low from October 6th. You have a perfect ABCD right there. And what we're going to do now through the miracle of changing time frames is we're going to go to a 60 minute and I wanted to show you there was the high that we made in the um, hello operator the uh, crude oil back here on the 28th of September okay then the market came down you can see this small ABCD pattern there's your there's your first 382 there's your second 382 there's your third 382 and then you come down to the bottom now, this one is very, very important because it had a really nice ABCD. What we're going to do is we're going to blow that up a little bit so you can see it because this, these are the kind of things that I look for in the middle of the night when you guys are sleeping, and I'm not. From the high down to the low, you'll see you have an A leg right here. There's your B, C, D leg right there. There it is exactly at your 382. And what does that lead to, folks? Johnny's raising his hand, and he says, it looks like an A, B, C, D to me. So there's your A leg right back in here. I know this is second nature to everybody, but there's a few folks out there that are new, and that tells us we should get down to this level right about here, 83.19. And, of course, we go down to 81.45. We make a, several lower lows. There was your first low right here. You had a little A, B, C, D pattern here. There was your big low, and here's where we were coming in tonight. Now, there's where we were Friday, right here, Treskai Decaphobia, the fear of the number 13. Uh, we had a high of uh, 87.98, and all night last night, it couldn't take that out until early this morning, it made 8.827. Look at the 50% retracement, folks, 8.822. And from there, it's had a pretty good move down. It dropped $2,000, then rallied back up. Let's just check, go down to the smaller time frame now so we can see it a little better. 
There's where we are. There's the 382. There's the number you want to watch, folks. If you're interested in following a war and you think this thing's going to make oil go to 150, well, before it gets to 150, it's got to get above 88.50. And so far, that's the X point right up here, A, B, C, D. There's your 382 right here at 86.03. So there's the number you want to be watching. And just a minute, the, the classroom bell has rung, and we have a – uh, question possibly, and we got Jeff from uh, Philadelphia on the line. Jeff, what can we do for you, my friend? Uh, hi, Larry. Uh, it's great to have you back on the air. Thanks for taking my call. Thank um, you. It's the good to be back. You're showing right now on oil. I noticed that there was a, a big gap in in that first leg. Um, could you talk about that? Does that affect the, how you would trade that Gartley pattern, or just, no. does it matter that there's a big gap there? No, it doesn't matter because it 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 it, it well, I'm trying to say it with a, without mis mincing my words here. It, after it gapped, it started to trade normally. In other words, that gap was due to a large order of some kind. But after that, it started to trade normally. In fact, I'm talking about uh, crude oil right now on the air. And since you're there, uh, we'll just take a look here. You see that we have a, a really nice 382 coming in at 86.03. Now, remember, the market went from 82 up to 88. So it rallied $6. So it's going to come back. Just about, just not quite three, 8603. So that's where you want to be watching it because you're going to have an ABCD pattern there. And if the 382 is good, and if the 382 is good, you don't have to risk more than about 60 pips to see if it's good or not. But, you know, like we say, the 382 is good about, uh, you know, 70% of the time, but that other 30%, you just got to stand, you get out of Dodge. You just can't, you just can't stand in front of it. You, you, you know what, you know what that's like is you've already done that in the past and you're not doing that anymore. So that's good. Does that help you to what I'm trying to show you what's going on with crude? To me, it's very, very clear because a perfect ABCD up there at 88.20, and now it's oh, sure. at 80. I, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, yeah, I just I remember that if there was a, a gap in one of the legs of a Gartley, that that could represent uh, a, a, an issue, you know, to be addressed. Oh, but absolutely. I think maybe that was only if it was in the last leg. Like the CBD no. leg, if there's a gap, then you want to be careful because it shows strength and it might, you know, Jeff, keep going. Gaps, gaps are unknown and they have to be respected. The thing is, if the market gaps up a little bit, let's say it gaps up a half a dollar or even a dollar, dollar and a half, and then it starts to trade normally for the next dollar, dollar and a half. That just means that that gap has been taken care of and the people were buying it had to pay up for it. But the gaps that really are, are the real crazy ones is that if you're right at point C and then the market gaps, those are the ones you really need to pay care, take ex, uh, extreme care of because that tells you that that CD leg is going to be at least 1.27 or 1.618 more than the AB leg. Right, because of the strength. Okay. okay. Gotcha. Yeah. And Jeff, um, I'm glad you great. talked about. Yes, thank you. you. You have another question? Go right ahead, please. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I was just uh, saying thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, one other comment on this, uh, Jeff, is the algorithmic traders that are out there. They are familiar with these numbers, and if you believe that they know what these numbers are, and they've seen A, B, C, D in the past because everything is based on these computers, and if you do a computer run with A, B, C, Ds, it's going to be ringing bells all day long, and they know that if there's a big move coming out of that sea leg, that that's going to be expanding. And so they'll be watching that, too. So uh, pay attention to that because that sea leg is the key leg of the ABCD leg because that's one that gets you up to, you know, your your next ABCD. And that's your second part of the trade. So I hope that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Perfectly. Okay. Uh, that's great. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much for calling in. Certainly appreciate it. We're still talking here about crude oil, folks. What I'm going to do now is just I'm going to draw in the ABCD pattern so you'll be able to see it. There's your high up there at 88.20, and we're going to be looking to come in right about here, which would be your 86, uh, right around 86.10, 86.03. We're uh, 70 handles, uh, 70 handles, 70 points away from it uh, right now, but that's that's what we're looking at uh Right here. Now, if we start getting below that, then it'll tell you that maybe the slow is going to be even greater. But stop and think, folks. Just look at this daily chart of uh, crude oil here. Look at this thing, folks. You know, we, you know, that war didn't break out till up in here. This is where the war break out, okay? And then nothing happened 
I mean, it, you know, the, the market rallied like heck after the, the war was announced. I mean, we saw it go straight up, and of course it came straight down again, but look what it did. This is a perfect Gartley sell signal right there. I mean, that's what Gartley talked about. There's the gap that uh, Jeff was talking about, but notice that once you get up here and stop going around, this gap is pretty much doesn't make, make much sense anymore, okay? So then it comes down. There's the 78% retracement right here. And there's your A, B, C, D that we're looking at today. And just uh, it did exactly. Now, they don't always work like this, of course. But when they do, they look pretty nice. And that's all this was looking like is it was pretty nice. So let's take a little break here. Pay a few bills. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're going to continue our little uh, soiree here about patterns and stuff. We're going to take a look at this. We'll get this up here so we'll be able to see. Here's we looking at the Dow Jones here, folks. Uh, now, here's the low where we were uh, here on Friday. You can see there's October the 13th right there. Uh, there's the low. Now, look at this low right here, folks. This is the market just sold off uh, 225 points in the Dow Jones. Now, look where it stopped. Okay, now this is, I didn't make this up. I just happened to hear the beeper go off while you were uh, we were on our break. Look at this. It went to the exact 
to the exact tick of the exact 382 retracement at 3045. We've already rallied 100 points. Okay, very important. Now, if this is true, we should have done the same thing in both the S&P and the NASDAQ. So we're going to take this right here. There's your S&P right here. Okay, and we're going to go back here to this level over here. There's a 13th, uh, there's the below right here on the 13th, right there, trust guy decophobia. And there's, I think it went, below, it went below it by just a little bit. There's your high right here. There's your low. Uh oh, look at that. Exactly 382. Now, let me ask you a question. I know, Johnny, just relax. Don't you think somebody out there in, in mathematic land from MIT or uh, Indiana State or someplace like that? Uh, Butler University, uh, Indiana University, and Northwestern University, those are the universities that I went to. Uh, those, uh, they must know something about mathematics. This is not very hard stuff. It's exactly 382. Okay? Now, if that's the case, let's just double check with the old NASDAQ to see if it did it. What I'm trying to do, folks, is build a case to show you that this is an important concept, and you got to pay attention to it. And I owe it to my good friend, Tommy Hugard, because Tommy, terrific showed me what he was doing. He didn't even know what the 382 was. All I did was I kept looking at what he was doing, and I said, oh, my goodness. I said, I see what that is. There's your high. This one didn't work. There's your low right here on the 13th. Move that over here. Well, it didn't miss it by much. The number came in at uh, 15,225, and it went to 15,220. Uh, missed it by 10 points. It went 10 points lower. So, that's uh, that's why it did uh, did happen. Now look at this one. Same thing. If you're watching this intraday, you got a high up here. You come down, and there's your 382 comes in here, misses it by one point. Uh, 5206, 5205. So it's just one point off. So it doesn't work all the time, but when it does. It gives you a really good idea of uh, where you stand as far as some of these things moving around. Now, here's another one that is working right, that has been working for quite some time now. This is the hourly chart of the uh, euro last night. You can see here we had uh, the 382 retracement last night off of the high that we made back up and in here. So the euro is still in a downward move. There's the low here from the 13th. Here we are out here on the 16th, and this market is still looking like this has been a very strong resistance so we expect it to to keep going lower that's uh that's what it's uh, that's what it's all about that's what i try to cover when i'm doing these videos each night uh, you know to try to point these out that that's what we're that's what we're looking for okay now here's one that just uh i can see the background in here just give me a second here to get this up to uh I've got to get this up here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, boy. God didn't make me technically uh, uh, proficient for sure. This is the Treasury bonds, folks, okay? Uh, this is just a 13-minute, but let's go down. Well, let's do the 13-minute because this is, this is important. Here's where we were last night. I sent the video out, okay, because we first we were looking at it on the hourly chart. That's the first thing we start out with. I said there should be a pretty good bottom right here, okay? Now, you'll notice that we had a pretty good bottom. It rallied 400 bucks. But once we went below that, that tells you that it's no longer any good, you see? So you had your move here, and then it started to go down, and look where it is now. Where it's telling us it wants to do now, it wants to go even lower. Let, let's look at this on the daily so we can all get a really good idea how important that was. This is the bond market, folks. It doesn't have many friends, and it's getting less and less friendly all the time. No matter what they say about it, it keeps going, wanting to go lower. We had a rally that lasted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days. That rally amounted to four points. This rally amounted to just a tad more than four points, okay? This rally took one, two, three, four, five days, and it's down. Where did it stop at? From your high down to your low right in here, it stopped exactly at the 382. This is how you define trend. I'll tell you this, folks. When you see 382 in the Elliott Wave newsletter, please alert me because when they find it, it's going to be gospel. And no one's going to listen to this old cowboy from Terre Haute, Indiana, little little uh, little uh, two, two, two uh, miles away from Cabin Creek. Uh, Illinois, which is, uh, you know, one of the high spots of the state of Illinois. 
anyway, that's what we're watching here with these Treasury bonds. And it looks like we are going to be going lower. Let's look at them again on an hourly basis because we are going to come into some pretty strong support here when we finish this next ABCD. Because, let me tell you why, folks. Because this is the low, no question about it. We went from 108 to 114. We rallied almost, we did, we rallied five handles. That's a big move. The last rally only took us up four handles. So that's four handles. On page 222 of H.M. Gartley's book, Profits in the Stock Market, he said, buy the first A, B, C, D in a new bull market. So if we assume this is a new bull market, Okay, we don't know that it is, but we're going to assume that it is. He said, buy that first ABCD in a bull market. So from this low to this high, okay, down to this low right in here, which is going to be right at your 78% level, we're going to mark it in. It's going to be 110. 110 is what we'll be watching for. Actually, it's, uh, yeah, 110, roughly 110.06. Well, the actual number is uh, is 110 even, 110.005. That's a little more than a point from where we are right now. So if we get there, not today, but the next day, that would be nice. 17th, 18th. And, and if we start going below this level, it's wrong. So when you buy it at 110, you put your stop at 109.16. You're going to have to risk about $600. But if you're right, then you could be looking at an A, B, C, D to the upside. And that's what maybe is making the market be so strong. Do you know what I'm saying? And I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a fundamental person. I'm just looking at the charts of what could be, what could possibly be. The fact that the market is holding up that well is a, is a pretty good sign. Okay? So I think it's important to remember that. First of all, let me get these things uh, lined up here pretty good so we can put these up so we can see where we are. To make sure, boy, the market comes right back. It goes down and it comes right back. This is what we like to see in these markets. All right, let's move on here to the uh, next one. We want to be. We covered the euro. We've covered the S and P. Uh, we've covered. Uh, where's the other one at here? Got another one in here. Someone I wanted to cover. I covered the natural. Oh, we got to cover the soybeans. We got to take a break first. So I think we got a. We got a. Uh, Oh, we got 34 seconds left. Let's get this soybean chart up, and we're going to take a look at that because that's got a chance to have a pretty good move here. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we'll get over to a normal market here now, folks. This is the daily chart of the... Um, November soybeans, and we've had this big move right here. You see uh, the ABCD down. We've rallied about uh, rallied about a little more than 50 cents a bushel, which is substantial amount for the soybeans. This is the type of this is the same pattern that we're looking like to, to hopefully find in the beans. Now this is a daily. The beans were look the bonds, the bonds, the bonds. We're trying to see this same pattern right here is in soybeans. We think it's going to be the same thing in the bond market. It's nothing more than an ABCD, a new ABCD, okay, and potentially a bull market. We don't know what it is yet, but it's got to get a lot higher first. But here's what's happened over the last three or four days. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go down to the hourly chart, and you're going to be able to see that uh, here's what we were looking for. We're waiting for this ABCD pattern. Now, once you go below this level, you know, this ABCD is no longer valid. So that is no longer valid because it doesn't, it didn't complete. It completes over here, but that's a totally different pattern. There's the 61% retracement, okay, off of that big move. You can see that's what we've rallied to. All we did, folks, from the high, look at this. There's your last 382 that you had right back here. Okay, there was your other one that you had right here. We should have another one come in pretty close to where we hit here, right here. There it is, right there. There it is at uh, at 12.95. We're now trading at 12.85, so it did hold it. So that tells us we're still in a still in a bear market, but there's a chance, and I do mean slight chance. This is what you'd like to see if you want to be a buyer of soybeans. Clean all these out so you don't have to look at it. You go from your low up to your high and you want to find your first really good a b c d and there it's going to be here either one of these highs there's your b leg there's your c leg there's your d leg so you just want to draw it in from your low up to your high right here we're going to move this over otherwise it's going to look like a double top and we're we doesn't we don't really care we just want to get that that spot in and here it comes in here at 1270 that's down 14 cents from where it is right now. So that's going to be your first place to potentially take a look at it. However, you have to be aware when you're watching this, you've got an ABCD pattern coming in right here that's going to take you down to guess what? The 78% level. So this would be the best place to buy it right here at 1263. That's 21 cents from where we are right now. Now that's not much because the market went from 1300 it dropped 28 cents just to get to there. Then it rallied up to the 61% retracement. So to get to either one of these numbers is not very hard to do. So your job is to watch it here because if it holds here, if it's coming down really hard like this into this, most probably it's going to get to here. But if it takes a long time to get to this level, like this type of thing right here, that's when you want to do it because then you can, you can risk 8 cents. You can be a farmer for 400 bucks. You know, you don't want to be a farmer for a thousand or two thousand dollars. You want to be a farmer for four hundred and eight hundred dollars. You don't want to pay the lease fees and all that other garbage that you have to go through. Okay, so that's what we want to be watching in the uh, in the soybeans. Very, very important. 
Someone asked a question about Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. Let's get this up here. I haven't looked at uh, Apple for a long, long time here. It was over the weekend. Hold on. Here it is. This is where we are with Apple. We've had a pretty good run off of this bottom right down here. This is a weekly. Let's get up to the daily so we can see what's been going on. Uh, this is what we look potentially is what we're looking at here in Apple is 160. The reason why we say that we have lower tops in here. As you can see, that's exactly what we've been happening. It's uh, it's down on the day, believe it or not. Today, I was really surprised given the fact that the stock market is so doggone strong. Uh, Apple is actually down on the day. Wow, that's very unusual. Uh, yeah, it says that it's down. Wow, hard to believe. Anyway, that's what it looks like we're headed towards in Apple is this level, level down in here, 162 to 160. That's where I think we're going to be uh, watching it. If we do get to that level, get this out here. Like this, when we get to that level, you'd then be looking at a gorgeous three drive to a bottom pattern. There's drive one, there's drive two, there's drive three, and there's where you want to be $17 lower. Uh, you know, look for a spot to uh, get along the apple because that could really be a really nice move. That's not much of a move down from 198 down to once that's a 10% move down. In a period of uh, five and a half months, hello, operator. Boy, that's a very, very bullish market. Remember, this time of the year, between November, October and November, this is, well, September, October, is when your bottoms are made in the market. Maybe this is the bottom here on the 28th uh, of September. That might be it. We don't know yet. We start getting above here, uh, then we'll have a pretty good idea. Okay, someone else asked about Tesla. <clears throat> Let's take a quick look here. At the richest man in the world's uh, auto company, there's nothing more than a, a battery company and a, and a data company. And here is, uh, remember, this is supposed to go to 240, uh, excuse me, 440 by our friends at, uh, <clears throat> well, that's a weekly. We want to get to a daily. Sorry, folks. <clears throat> okay, here. <laughs> you have to, the D, Larry, the D. See, we are in, here's where they came out with the, uh, that they was going to go to 400, okay? It went right up to the 78% level here at 280. Now we're right here. You can see uh, it's up on the day right now. It was lower right now. It's it's up on the day. So that's what we're paying attention to here right now. <coughs> so, <coughs> very sorry, folks. I'm afraid my frogs are coming back in my throat here. Anyway, that's what's looking at. The, the, folks, when they give a report like this, Believe me, they owned options when they told you they wanted to go to 440. Now, maybe they got out somewhere in here. I don't know. But uh, when they when they give you information like that, when Goldman Sachs tells you it's going to go to $200 in crude oil and stuff like that, and Larry Pesavento tells you it's going to go, the Apple's going to go to uh, 160 uh, remember, folks, uh, you have the responsibility to do your own research and to do that. Now, I'm not basing it on any fundamentals. You know, these folks base stuff on fundamentals that are a little, little past this old cowboy's pay grade. So anyway, that's what I'm paying attention to. We had one other stock that someone wanted to ask about, and that was Target. Target, it's been under a great deal of pressure. I don't even know if I have it anymore. Target, is that TGT? Uh, I don't think I have Target in here anymore, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, any more at all so that's that was the last one that I had that someone had a question about and I, I don't have target in my group of things uh, to be looking at here so if you have any questions there's only a little bit of time left 877-927-6648 and we'll be uh, happy to uh, give you some information if we have it if not I'll make something up that might be interesting who knows all right, let's take a let's see what the old clock on the wall says as far as time left to go. Wow, we got a whole minute left. Well, since we do that, let's let's just add target to the list since we're we're down in this here. I can do it without any trouble at all. We put up T for target and then we open it up here. I know it's getting a heck, heck beat out of it because it's being, this is the weekly. Wow, it's really gotten hit. Let's look at it on the daily here. It's under a great deal of pressure here. It don't look too bad here, though it's actually held relatively well. Uh, we uh, had some major support coming in here uh, right at the 61% retracement. That's where we are right now. But uh, I hope T is, you know what, I don't even know if T is target. I don't think it is. Nope. 
Disregard everything I just said. I know T must be telephone because that's what it's been forever. My bad. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, this is Target on a weekly basis going back to 2019, and you can see here in the middle, uh, it hit the 382 up there at 183, one, two, three times. This this is within one dollar of the exact 183. This was 182 and change. This was 183. Uh, misses by 16 cents, but this pretty much spot on right here. Then it starts rolling over. If you look at this, if we blew this up, you can see this would be a 382 retracement. You know, let's just do that since we've got time and no one's asking questions. Let's just go to a uh, daily chart, and that'll show it to us where we are. And this is what we want to be watching, and that we want to watch that little ABCD that we wanted to find, which would be right in here. There's that little ABCD, and that's where it would be from this high right here. It should be right at the old spot on 3A2 is what it'll do. And let's, where is it at? There it is. Actually, it misses it by uh, <laughs> it misses it by 60 cents, folks. There it is, right here, and then it starts its move down. So, if you're looking to buy this, uh, we actually hit some really good support down here at this 1.618 here at 101. 
So if you're looking for a good buy, a friendly hello and a good buy, you don't have to risk too much right in here uh, on uh, this one right here. I think about $6.00 is all you'd have to risk but frankly if you want to buy something buy apple at 106 160 to me that would be the one that would be the uh, best deal uh, to get uh, so tomorrow uh, we uh, hope to have uh, uh, a special mystery guest that hasn't answered my phone calls as of yet but in two weeks when he gets back from his vacation over across the pond uh, peter lydes is going to spend the whole hour with us and we certainly enjoyed having uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Joe, Joe DiNapoli on last Friday. He, he was uh, really, really spectacular. Okay, so that's pretty much it, folks. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude like I always try to do because, boy, folks, I've been one lucky buckaroo and I certainly appreciate it. May God bless. Mm -hmm.